know what makes me so happy is when two things that I love collide together. And as y'all know, there are fewer things I love more than rotisserie chicken recipes and casseroles. So if that is you as well, you are going to love today's video. I've got three recipes that are simple, quick and easy, but you can put them on the table. Your family's gonna love them and they are gonna be full of flavor. So let's get to cooking. Before we jump into this recipe, I do wanna say a big thank you to Seed for sponsoring today's video. I'm very excited to talk to you guys more about them here in just a little bit. Okay, so to my nine by 13, I already have my rotisserie chicken kind of cut up into these bite-sized pieces. So I'm just gonna add this to my dish. And then I'm just gonna pour a little bit of this chicken broth right over the top. Just enough to kind of coat it and keep it moist. Then we're gonna season it. And of course you can use whatever your favorite um, seasonings are. I'm gonna do the garlic herb with lemon sea salt and then the lemon butter garlic because I love these two flavors together. And then just kind of like toss this all together. Make sure everything's well coated and seasoned. Those seasonings just like smell so good. It's like the lemon in it. Oh. What? Boom. <gasps> I'm glad you saw that. I was trying to kill us over here. Doesn't it smell good though? Mm. Well, I just got a little sample. It tasted good too? Oh yeah. You know who loves artistry chicken more than me? This girl right here. That girl right there. She. Where? We are eagerly anticipating the outcome. <laughs> she has been begging for a tisserie chicken all morning long. Yes, she has. We're just gonna make our like saucy mixture that we're gonna pour on top. So you're gonna add one can of cream of chicken soup and then you're just gonna take your can and fill it up with chicken broth. Maybe not all the way, but at least, I don't know, half to three fourths. We're kinda just making this recipe up. <laughs> but I think it's gonna be so delicious. And then next, we're gonna add sour cream to this. Give this a stir, and then we're just gonna pour this right on top. So this is already looking so good, but then on top of that layer, we're gonna add some Swiss cheese. If you don't like Swiss cheese, I would say add whatever you want. Provolone, maybe some like thin mozzarella slices, whatever cheese you prefer. And then this is where it gets interesting <laughs> because you could take some stuffing mixture and do like a little bit of chicken broth, maybe some melted butter, and then put that on top. That would be really good. But I feel like stuffing mixture has like a lot of onion flavor, therefore I don't like it. But you could also do Ritz crackers. I am going to do crushed up garlic croutons because I feel like that's gonna give us the same kind of like texture as the um, mm -hmm. stuffing. Lots of good flavor in there. Yeah, it's like uh, the same element, but different form. Exactly. So I just got a bag of like croutons, you can get whichever ones you want. And I'm just going to get Bunky to like crush these up really good and then put these on top. See, this is why I feel like the croutons are perfect because they still have those big chunks. It's kind of like stuffing, you know? Mm -hmm. It's going to be like you get one of the big pieces and then there's some of the finer little pieces. Mm. I can't wait. Oh, my favorite croutons. So now to our croutons, we're gonna add some melted butter. And then to give them just a little bit more seasoning, I'm gonna add some cracker pepper parmesan because I can't make a recipe without it. I'm sure y'all already had guessed that before I even did it. But you know, just a little extra flavor in there. And just to kind of carry that flavor throughout, I'm gonna do a little bit more of the garlic and herb in here. Just a pinch. Okay, stir this together with our melted butter. Y'all, this little concoction, this is how you doctor up some croutons. Melted butter and some seasonings. I wanna eat this on a lot of things. <laughs> Give me a spoon. I'm seriously, I'm just out here, I'm over here like digging croutons out of here. It's so good. But as you can guess, we're just going to top our casserole with our croutons and then pop this in the oven. All that good stuff's at the bottom. Yeah. This one in the oven at 350 for like just 30 to 45 minutes until that cheese is bubbling, the sauce is bubbling. You'll know it's ready. Look. 
let me see this. Oh my goodness, Bunky. As always, the bubbling edge. Yes. Gets it, me every time. It just smells amazing. I feel like I'm gonna set another timer because we gotta wait at least 10 minutes before we get into that. <laughs> Bungie's always making us wait so we don't burn our mouths. I know, but it's kind of like, for the, A, that, and then B, it helps to just let it kind of settle Rest. down. I agree, bit, I agree. You know? Okay, 10 minutes and then I'm digging in. Wow. Should I go for just a little more? Yes, you should. Do you see that creamy, just like sauce that's in there? Yeah. Bonky love. Good. Okay, Bonky was so sweet and said that I get to taste test first today, so I'm excited. But it's still very hot. Did we wait the 10 minutes? Mm hmm. Oh, I heard that crunch. How's that Swiss cheese in there? That's what I'm curious about. Okay, this is incredible. It's like creamy. The croutons, do the croutons. Yeah. If you have the... stuffing, do stuffing. But if you have croutons, do the croutons because that to me is one of the best parts because it gives it this like great crunch and texture. But mm -hmm. they're also so flavorful and like buttery and toasted. Mm. And then you get like that little bit of like the Swiss cheese. It's insane. I'm not joking. Bunky's like, I'm not joking. It is so good. Well, normally you don't love. Did the Swiss cheese like just like melt? Oh, it just into melts it? so into it. And see, like I'm not the biggest Swiss cheese fan. Right. But it just gives this little bit of like something different in there. It needs it. Like it's so good. It brings a little nuttiness. It, it really does. No. Oh. The fruit ones though. Oh my gosh, they're so good. I was thinking this would be good too with just like. A little side salad, some green beans, maybe some broccoli. You could actually do like, you know how we do the roasted broccoli in the oven? Oh. Since you already got the oven going, throw some broccoli in there. Funky, you are going to love this. I see some cheese hanging there. Mm-hmm. You weren't kidding. I'm telling you. It's the Swiss cheese. I know, it gives it this little different. Make sure you use the Swiss cheese, because it, is delicious with this. It makes it. It really does. I mean, obviously the chicken, the, the the soup and all that stuff, the soup mix. That gives it just like this creaminess, but everything else is like the flavor. Yeah, and I really do like the uh, crouton topping versus, I mean, stuffing would be good too, but I feel like this gives it more texture because stuffing is probably gonna be more moist. Maybe. <laughs> Y'all. This is a winner. Like, I don't think you understand how much I love this. This is probably like at least three times better than I thought it was gonna be. Same. We kind of just like made this recipe up. Like I saw a couple different like variations and I was like, I'm just gonna put my own spin on it. Wow. Incredible. As I continue enjoying this, I just had another thought. Tell me. Say you have a family of four. Mm -hmm. Don't plan on having any leftovers. <laughs> Because you're probably not. No. Okay, so let's talk about seed. So you guys know I shared with you a couple of months ago that Bunky and I both actually had started taking this daily supplement and it's called their DS01 Daily Symbiotic and it's a probiotic and a prebiotic supplement. And first of all, I love the packaging as well. It's just so pretty, but it made such a difference in our life. And just like for me, it was really gut health. It helped me go more regularly if you know what i mean ease more easily if that's the right word um my like brain fog i feel like there was less of that just had like, a little bit more clarity energy um it helps with like your skin there are so many benefits to taking this daily supplement and Bunky feels the same way. Like we both just love it so much. So I was so excited whenever I shared it with you guys that so many of y'all told me that you already take it and you love it as well or that you were so excited to order it and start taking it. It has made a difference in our life and now like we never miss a day. We take it every single day because it truly just makes us feel a lot better. So let's talk about the health benefits of seed. So by taking 
taking your DSO-1 daily. This is going to help with like the ease of bloating. It is going to help with like regularity. Like I was saying, if you get like occasional um, like gas pains in your belly, it will help to kind of ease those things. It helps your gut barrier integrity and the function of it. And like I was saying, it also helps with like healthy, glowy skin. It promotes heart health and maintains blood cholesterol levels that are already in a healthy range. There are so many benefits to taking this supplement. Something I've learned is that your gut health is connected to everything. So gut health is super important. And taking our DS01 daily has become a non-negotiable for us and what makes us feel even better about it is the amount of research science and efficacy that seed puts into every detail and ingredient there is no preservatives no binders it's soy free dairy free gluten free and just so much more i love the refillable glass jar that it comes with and then each month you get a new 30-day supply we just got ours so i was refilling us up but i am so excited for y'all to try seed so be sure you click my link down below and use my code Jessica to get 25% off your first month supply of Seeds DS01 Daily Symbiotic plus free shipping. Okay, so here are two more rotisserie chicken casseroles that are so delicious. We're gonna make a chicken cordon bleu casserole. Y'all, I cannot wait. Okay, so this recipe calls for cooked chicken. So to make it easy, of course, I just went and got a rotisserie chicken. I pulled all the chicken off. I'm trying to get the skin off as well. And then I'm just gonna chop this up into bite-sized pieces. If you have like leftover grilled chicken or whatever you wanna use, um, that's fine as well. And Daisy Mae is howling because she wants all the chicken. I think her favorite thing besides cheese is a rotisserie chicken. Now, the recipe does say to kind of prep some things. <laughs> eat all the rotisserie chicken while you're doing it mm. um but we need to run the rice underneath some cold water mm -hmm. i'm gonna get that chicken off your lip Did I get it? yeah and then we gotta shred some cheese so that we can get everything in the pot block cheese oh yeah so it's melty yeah the recipe definitely says to grate your own cheese don't use the back cheese so we're gonna use this one monkey says that he's cleaning as we go he says part of his job in the kitchen is that I make a mess and he cleans up behind me. <laughs> if, you, if you only knew how many little things I do behind, behind the scenes. <laughs> I grab little packages that have been opened, put them away. All the things. All sorts of little You're so good to me. tips and tricks. Okay, we gotta do this rice. Yeah, under cold water. Cold water. So the recipe says to use um, one and a quarter cups of rice, so there's one cup. Hold that for me, B. You're just eyeballing that? Yeah, I think that's about a quarter cup. Okay, run that under cool to cold water for like a minute. Okay, Bunky cannot believe this, but I'm gonna put onion in here and then try and eat around it. But we're gonna go ahead and kind of dice up this onion, and then you need three cloves of garlic minced as well. What kind of cut are we looking for? Just like a good dice. Now, the bigger you can leave it for me to be able to pick around, the better. We actually only have five cloves left. So you wanna do all of them? Throw them all in there. I say do all of them. Okay, so now that we got pretty much all of our prep work done, we're gonna go ahead and start cooking everything. And the goal is to cook everything in this one pot and then we'll put it in the casserole dish. That way you have way less cleanup. So go ahead and get two tablespoons of butter, put it in your pot, let that melt, and then we're gonna add in our onions and just cook those for about five minutes until they're soft and translucent. Okay, so we'll go ahead and add our onion in. And then once that's softened, we'll go ahead and add in our garlic. That was a good shot there, boo. Thank you. <laughs> And also you wanna make sure that you get a pot that is big enough to hold everything because you're gonna put your rice in here, your chicken broth, all of that. So you wanna make sure you're using a decent sized pot to cook all of this. Get all that garlic, y'all. Bunky did a good job mincing it. Okay, so now that our onions are nice and soft, we're gonna add in our garlic. We're also gonna add in about half of a teaspoon of garlic powder and then some fresh thyme. Okay, little bit of garlic powder. I'm not gonna measure this, just gonna give it like a little sprinkle. Yeah, not too much. We got a lot of real yeah. garlic in there already. We probably could have skipped that step, but you know. Okay, and then for my time, I don't want to put the stems in, so I'm just going to kind of pull gently those little leaves off. 
we had to remove from heat momentarily. So that garlic doesn't burn. Okay, we're gonna let this cook for just like about a minute, and then we're gonna add in some olive oil, our chicken broth, and our rice. All right, so now we're ready to cook our rice. So you're gonna add one tablespoon of olive oil, and we'll eyeball it. That's good. Oh. <laughs> Extra smooth. Yes, and then you're gonna add in your rice. And the reason that we rinsed it was so that it would not stick to the bottom of this pot. So very important to rinse your rice before you add it in. Don't? Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. And then you're gonna put two and a half cups of chicken broth. We use the Better Than Bouillon just cause y'all know we love that. But two and a half cups, cover the rice. We're gonna stir this to combine. Then once it comes to a simmer and we put our lid on, we're gonna let it cook for 15 minutes without stirring it at that point. <laughs> This is in like pure bunky fashion, okay? I would agree, yes. This is like so something we would do. <laughs> did we used to have a lid for this pot? I really think we did, Bunk. I don't know where it is though. Well, we were trying to make a dish in one pot, but apparently it's gonna be two. Because we thought that the um, lid we have for this fit this one, but instead it fits that one. So, so we gotta transfer. It's time for a transfer. <laughs> okay, we'll get the rest of this rice in okay. there. Okay, we're gonna bring this back to a simmer for just a second and then we will pop our lid on. The proper lid. The proper lid. Mm, look at those onions in there. I know, I'm nervous. And also, I will have this actual recipe linked in the description box for you so that you can follow it and not us. <laughs> Okay, so now that we have let this rest, we're just gonna add everything else into this pot and then stir it all together and add it into our casserole dish. So of course you're gonna need some ham if you're making chicken grand bleu. So I just went over to the deli section. Y'all know we love boar's head and I found this ham steak. So any ham steak is fine. We're gonna go ahead and um, cube this up and then we're gonna add Parmesan, our chicken. Of course you have to have Swiss cheese. We're also gonna add some milk, some cream of chicken soup, sour cream, Dijon mustard, and our cheddar. Like, does this not sound incredible? I'm so excited. Okay, the recipe says to add in half a cup of sour cream, which is just about what I have left in this container, so I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it and dump all this in. Okay, two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. One cup of milk. You got our ham cut for us? Look at that. Oh, I just ate a piece of raw garlic. Oh, was it good or bad? <laughs> it was intense. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at these dices, B. Of course, they're all beautiful and perfect. Getting uh, close to the, the brim here. That's why we said make sure if you're gonna do this you have a big enough pot to put it all in. Oh, we lost one. Oh! Okay I'm gonna let you stir this all together till it's all combined. Gently. Gently. Oh boy. I know that rice looks incredible. This might be the most beautiful rice we've ever made. I think it is. Okay are we all combined? Yeah. <laughs> We are incorporated and looking good. I really want to just take a bite, but I'm going to hold out until. The I mean, it's all cooked, but we got to wait till it bakes. Yeah, I want, I want the true experience. I cannot even imagine how good this is going to be because that just looks like incredible. Oh, you just wait till that Swiss cheese gets on top. Okay, yes. So I have my 9x13 here. I went ahead and lightly greased it. So Bunky's going to dump all of our. Um, goodness our mixture in here and then we're gonna top it with the Swiss cheese but then we're not done there's more there's more after the Swiss cheese what else is there I can't tell you I'll tell you in a second <laughs> I think I know what it is <laughs> oh my goodness bunk wow oh yeah my mouth is watering so bad it's like cheesy rice it's a delight y'all this might be one of the best recipes we've ever tried. I have a feeling. Just get it all corner to corner? Yep. Okay, so I just got some Swiss cheese slices, which is all you need, and then you're just gonna lay them all over the top until you cover the entire 
casserole dish. Oh yeah, full yeah, coverage. We don't play over full here. Full coverage, please. Yes. Okay, now. Now, you save the rest of your Swiss, Swiss, Swiss cheese for sandwiches. That's right. Now we have some melted butter over here because y'all know we don't have a microwave. And then we also have some breadcrumbs and we are going to sprinkle top of it with some breadcrumb melted butter mixture. <laughs> what you laughing at? <laughs> Get the tinfoil. Y'all, I never read a recipe. It is so bad. It is so bad. I cannot follow directions. We were supposed to put our topping on after it baked for 15 minutes. So, we're gonna put some tinfoil on and then let it just bake for like 20, 25 minutes at 375 and then it should be good to go. We'll take the tinfoil off for like the last five minutes. Okay, do y'all see this? Oh my goodness. We just stuck it underneath the broiler for just like two minutes to get those breadcrumbs like nice and crusty and brown. Oh my gosh, y'all. This is the land of Swiss cheese over here. <laughs> this, is, this is where I'm going. That's where you want to be. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Let's see if we can get... Oh, my let's, goodness. Let's come here. Bunk. Wow, that set up beautifully. Okay, before we dive into this, I just wanna say that I was kind of intimidated by this recipe because I feel like there was like a lot going on, but truly, as long as you prep everything first, it's just throwing it in a pot, stirring it all together, and then put it in the casserole dish. Mm -hmm. So even though it feels like there's more steps in this recipe, I really think it's like very simple to make. I am dead. Oh. Oh, wow. That is awesome. Wow. <laughs> this is so good. This has all, I mean, obviously it has all the components of chicken cordon bleu, mm -hmm. but it really tastes like chicken cordon bleu. Wow. From like through and through. Yes. There's like a, a very, it's a very subtle, but that Dijon mustard crucial, yes. however delicious. Yes. I, I think maybe the next time I would add even just a little bit more in. Mmm. And the rice is cooked. So perfect. I wish we had known about this sooner. Me too. Okay, so we are gonna get started on dinner. And I don't know what to call this, but Bunky and I saw this recipe on TikTok and both of us were like, wow like it looks so good so the original recipe on tiktok used um how you say it taquitos taquitos which you absolutely can do and i feel like that makes this even more simple but even what we're doing is still simple okay so over here i have just a rotisserie chicken i pulled it off and kind of just chopped it up and then to this we're going to kind of do like bunky's mom's recipe what does she call it i forget does she call it like enchiladas she calls them chimichangas, chimichangas, but they're more like enchiladas. Yeah, they're really not like chimichangas, but this is what she calls them. So she takes like shredded chicken and she does rotel, enchilada sauce, and cheese, right? Yeah. That's it. And then she rolls it up in a tortilla and she like bakes it with enchilada sauce and cheese on top. So the gist of everything is that we're going to make this crazy good rice and then we're going to put our chimichangas, enchiladas, whatever you want to call it on top our chicken filled tortillas yes and then it's all gonna bake in the oven be covered with cheese we're gonna top it with all the things like it is gonna be so good and like very simple so here <clears throat> chicken now this is a teeny tiny bowl for all the chicken i know but it's, it's we don't have like that much chicken i sort of wondered if it's gonna you be know, too small you know it actually fit in there just fine yeah it's perfect excuse me i'm gonna like get a spoon and get this out because you don't want too much of that um Juice. Juice in there because you're going to have already juice from the enchilada sauce. Mm-hmm. So, I'm just going to kind of drain it as I put it in there. Mm. You can put the rest of that on top of your thing. I will, yeah. That's going to be like my topping. Yeah. And then enchilada sauce. That's probably good. What? Well, because we're going to put so much more like on top and in the rice and everything. 
This is just going in the... Oh, I was like, that is a massive can of enchilada sauce. Well, we're going to use all of that. I think you need a little more, yeah. Okay, a little bit more. I kind of want to put some seeds. I'll put a little garlic powder in here. You know? Okay, that can stay there. Let's check our rice. Oh, this is like perfection. We've that's gotten, absolutely we've gotten perfect. lucky with our rice cook in the past couple of times. Yeah, that's good. Okay, we're turning this off. Are we using our 8x8? 8 8? <clears throat> 9 by 13 9 by 13 Mm-hmm. I know. I started thinking I should have done more rice. Yeah, that's that's barely going to cover the bottom of a 9 by 13 I know, but it's just me and you, so I didn't want to have, like, you know, crazy amount. All right, so now that we've got our rice cooked, we are going to add some taco seasoning. Now, the recipe that I saw was, like, a lot more rice in this, so... I'm going to do like half to three-fourths of this. I say you just did the whole, I say you just dumped that whole pack okay. in there. All right, we're just dumping the whole pack in here. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, there's that. Then you're going to take a bag of frozen corn, dump that right in. Because we have less rice, I don't want to have like a whole bag of corn. But I love black beans, so I am dumping this whole can of black beans in there. Oh, okay. You think? Yeah, yeah, you should. I think it'll be fine. Yeah, it will. Okay, so just make sure you drain and rinse these before you dump them in. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then last but not least, enchilada sauce. Okay. So we got rice, corn, black beans, taco seasoning, and enchilada sauce in yep. this bowl. Yes, and then just stir this all together until it's like perfectly combined. This already just smells so good. I know, it looks good too. Um. Okay, so Bunky is going to get our tortillas ready. So basically, we're going to do cheese and then some of the chicken mixture and then roll it up i totally destroyed this first one that's okay you have a little bite today today's man just teeny, teeny tiny bite oh say thank you dad <laughs> was that good was that good sweet girl so we got tortilla yes we're going cheese yes and i do have another bag of mexican style cheese a little bit more yeah I don't want too, too much in here. No, because you know, we're going to put gonna, more on top. Yeah, there's going to be a lot in the topping. So a nice little even layer of queso there. How many of these things are we trying to make? About six, maybe? I mean, like six. Oh, look at this. Beautiful colors. I'm telling you, this is going to be good. And then just roll this bad boy up like we do with regular taco. Yeah, and then put the seam side down so that we can, like, you know, sit it in our bacon dish. Like so? Perfect. Perfection. filled it up just right. You know what? I really think this is actually like the right amount of rice. One cup of rice. Yeah. This looks so good, okay? It wants to make it look even better. Okay, so now on top of those, if you were just doing the taquitos, how you say it? Yeah. He just like stuck them in the oven. But since we're doing whatever you want to call this, chimichanga stuff, I'm thinking that I'm going to top these with some enchilada sauce. We'll pop them in the oven, let them cook for just, you know, 15 minutes or so, pop it out, add more cheese on top, and then put it back in, then they'll be done. Because everything is cooked. You just want it to be like warm throughout, come and, together. And melty. And melty. And hot. Yes. So I'm going to do enchilada sauce, pop it in there, and then we'll put cheese on it in a little bit. Good? Oh, yeah. Okay. Into the oven, let's just say like 375, 15 minutes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh, babe. How much cheese can you get everywhere? It's for Jason May. It's so I purposefully cool. drop them so she can get cheese. You did that, didn't you? <laughs> Okay, y'all. This already looks so good. I'm gonna say going back in for like 10 minutes, but I'll keep you updated on exactly how long. Until melty and good. Yeah.
Okay, I like cannot wait for this. The recipe that we saw, the guy put like green onions and salsa and all kinds of stuff on top here, but we're just gonna like do that as we plate it because you know, Bunky likes all the things more than me. But this smells and looks amazing. Oh my goodness. Bunky, that cheese pull. Check that out. That cheese pull. And then you got your little uh, little rice on the side. You have some underneath it too. Oh my heavens, Bunky. I know. The this. rice got like a little bit like a crust on it. The rice and beans we got going on. Y'all, this is like an easy one pan <laughs> dinner. Oh my god. And that, my friend. That's a casserole right there. That is a serving right there. <laughs> okay, we gotta put all your things on it. I ran out of my Cholula and my Tapatio. I'm so sad, so I had to use Frank's. But y'all, is this not just beautiful? Like, this is beautiful, Bunky. That looks, this looks amazing. It looks amazing. I think that the, uh, like the chicken inside, that, that chicken with that sauce on it mm -hmm. is so good. But the rice and bean and corn concoction. It's crazy. Yeah. Like this just in general is, every, I think everything really plays off of each other or something. Yes. It like comes together and like when you have one little, like every bite you take with just a little bit of everything, uh -huh. it's so good. Oh, Bucky love. This is good. And it's so easy. So we'll definitely make this again. Y'all got to try it. Yeah. Like this is seriously so good. Mm. And like a little bit of sour cream, a little bit of salsa. Yeah, a little cool and sour cream. A little salsa. Your green onions. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. I was thinking of still green onion. Uh-huh. If you did fresh sliced jalapeno, very thin. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys try these recipes and love them as much as we do. Let us know what you think. Tag us in your pictures. Don't forget to check out Seed down below. Give this one a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And we will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.